Will you comfortable, Cameron? Yes, thanks. So tell me, Cameron, just tell me, because I'd like to know, what on earth could make you think we'd want to share a flat like this with someone like you? <laughs> I'd like to ask you about your hobbies. How do you want a room here? Do you smoke? You must be Hugo. So I can have the room? Yes, you can have the room. Yeah, Hugo, can you open your door? Alex, what are you doing? I'm just looking. Don't. Don't look. No. It's not every day I find a story in my own flat. It's not a story, Alex. It's a corpse. It's a sick idea, Alex. It's sick. Well, go ahead, then. Telephone. Telephone the police. Tell them there's a suitcase full of money and you don't want it. I can't do it. It's been a struggle, but now our days of worry are over. <laughs> to love and to happiness forever. <laughs> and the other three people living in the flat? There are only two other people in the flat. Make a note of that, Mitchell. Only three rather than four. They know. It's all they know. He's right, Alex, they know. You're right. I'm not frightened. I'm a little terrified, maybe. They went up there alive and they came back down dead. You're looking for me? If you can't trust your friends, well, what then? What then? <laughs>